How's it going? It's a height here, and we're back with a brand new episode of Oxygen Not Included. And guys, in the last episode, we started making this little farm here so that we could get a bunch of dirt. And after that episode, I kind of was thinking about it and decided I don't think we have enough dirt. So I came down and I made another one, but then I made another one. And now we've got three farms going full speed ahead. We got this little cuddle pip here. I don't know. It looks like it wants to cuddle. It's being creepy. Anyway. Now we've got three farms going. As you can see here, we're actually starting to get some dirt built up now. Finally, after all this time, we're finally starting to build up some dirt again. So that is super good. After the last episode, I did go ahead and you might have noticed I moved my cooling loop from over here just to over here. So it's a little bit cleaner now. Not a huge change, but it's cleaner. It just, you know, doesn't need to come all the way over to here. So anyway, there's that. Now, I've been kind of busy since the last episode. I've done a few things. Nothing particularly crazy, but let's just kind of go through it here. So I've come down. I have started cooling this water down here. I don't know if this is really the play. It's just, it's quite hot and heat's escaping out of here and it's heating up this water. And I figured, you know what? This can just run forever. It's not a big deal. It'll, it'll use up heat over time so it's kind of just doing its thing we got a little closed loop system here cooling water into a steam turbine blah 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 easy peasy it's it's very slow but it's working so in the future we might need a bigger cooling loop um but it is what it is for now so i've also come down here and i've started just queuing up a bunch of work orders down here i don't want to go through this abyssalite because as you can see I mean, it's 1600 degrees Celsius in there and it drops down to 80 once we're in here. So I don't want to get down into the lava because then I have to deal with all that extra heat down there that I don't want. So I've just kind of made a bunch of work orders just so that I can clear out this space and use it for something. I don't know. We've got some uh, oil reservoirs in here. I think there's three. Yeah, there's two here and there's one over there. Anyway, I've just gone in here and I've kind of followed the abyssalite and queued up a bunch of orders. So there's that. Over here, I started pumping this water out. I didn't like how I had this huge pond of water at the bottom of my base. So I started getting it out. All I'm doing right now is taking it up and dumping it through this little chute right here. We're just dumping it into this other tank for now. I still want to go through all this and get the salt water out and maybe make two different pits one for clear water and one for bacteria water there's a little bit of bacteria but it's not that bad actually so for the most part this is looking pretty good i still want to deal with this area in here but i've got some more excavation to do i think i want to get this water out of here before we do that probably the best way to go anyway so it's taking a while i added this thing down here just so that my little guys had somewhere to put stuff so they didn't have to run all the way back to the base and this just connects up into our inventories way up here so every single thing in my base is getting dropped into this place right now it's working for now everything's fine everything is fine I also just cleaned up a few odds and ends. There was some piping and some wiring and just some stuff scattered around that I've cleaned up. And up here, I cleaned up this area a little bit. Nothing crazy. I should set this to be crude oil and petroleum. Just so that this stuff can get put away. I'm just trying to clean up some stuff. Our base is still a pretty big mess. I gotta get this thing out of here at some point. How is that doing, by the way? Oh, we're up to 99.8 degrees C. We're almost at steam temperature. Which is actually good. That's actually really good. This might actually start to work here right away once, once it starts to work. I don't know. We'll have to see what happens. It's so close to turning... Oh, 100 degrees! 
Oh man, it's so close to making steam. Is it? Is it because it's full? It might be because it's full. Let's get some of this bacteria water out of here. I mean bacteria air. I got a whole series of these pumps up here. Clearing out all the polluted... All the polluted oxygen. So there's that. Anyway, we'll let that do its thing for a bit. I don't want to pump steam into my base, so I got to be a little bit careful about that. Okay, and finally, in the last episode, we had talked about potentially going up to the surface and dealing with that. So I, since the last episode, I have started my attempt at getting up there. Now, there's a couple issues. <laughs> if we can ever get up there. So we come up here. Okay, so the first issue is I've got these bunker tiles and they seem to be working fairly well. I've got these bunker doors. They're working as well. Problem is this crap seems, keeps piling up on top. So I think what's going to have to happen is, well, we're probably going to need some minor things. I'm not sure exactly how this is going to work. Now, I did want to get some power hooked up to these doors. So let's just get this going. Tell our guys that we want power and we want power right now. And I did notice something. I was on Reddit the other day and I saw a way to get rid of this stuff using manual airlocks. Now it's something, something like putting these doors down like so. Hang on, let me just, I don't want them to actually start building this right now. It's something like this. And then as this stuff falls down, the doors open and close and they destroy it somehow. Something like that. I don't fully understand how it works, but we can try it. We can definitely try it. Let's get a couple extra bunker. Actually, wait, let's just cancel. We'll just use this as a buffer because those meteors kind of come at an angle sometimes. So I don't want to build right out to here because I might break it at some point. So we'll leave it like this. And then we're probably going to need some sort of automation ticker. I don't know exactly how that's going to work yet. But what I do know is we do want, we want, 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 where is it? Where is it? Telescope. Okay, we want a telescope. And I think, I think it will work if we stick it down here. I think. Let's, let's speed this up. I'm going to have to open these doors or they won't work. I believe, does it have to, s I mean, it has to see the sky, right? And you guys were telling me in the last episode that airflow tiles don't count as solid blocks. So I think as long as all the doors are open, this thing should be able to see open star map. What is this? Oh my God. What is this? Rockets allow you to visit nearby celestial bodies. Each rocket must have a command module, an engine, and fuel. You can also carry other modules that allow you to gather specific resources from the places you visit. Remember, the more weight a rocket has, the more limited it'll be on the distance it can travel. You can add more fuel to fix that, but fuel will add weight as well. Okay. So, no analysis focus selected. Analyze. Okay. No power. Okay. Anything else I can do for you, telescope? No gas intake? Wait, the telescope? Wait. Does the telescope need gas? What? 
All right, guys, so I just realized I put down mechanical airlocks, but we actually need the mechanized ones. So I'm going to have to redo this with the proper doors. Oh, man. And I put this one in the wrong spot, too. Okay. Well, I think... Well, I don't know how this is actually going to work yet, but we're going to just try it. We'll get started with something and then we'll kind of troubleshoot it from here. This has to go. Uh, it's in the process of going. And then I, man, we're going to have to dig all this out of here by hand, I think. I don't know how else to get rid of it right now. Okay, so guys, we have this space station. I've got all these mechanized airlocks going. Now, I want to be able to automate these doors so that they open and close whenever something is about to happen. And I think there is some sort of scanner. I don't know where it is, though. Here it is. Space scanner. Sends a green signal to its automation circuit when it detects incoming objects from space. So we want to put this somewhere. I hope it's not going to be a problem being right beside the telescope. Whatever, we'll put it down and we'll see how it works. Hopefully it works. I don't know. Let's crush this out. Okay, no automation wire connected. Scan quality zero. Okay, I think that's because it can't see the sky. So that's fine. We're going to want a not gate, I think, because it sends a green signal when it's about to see something. And I'm not sure if these are open on a green signal or closed on a green signal. I don't know. Let's find out. I also went ahead and got a oxygen pipe running all the way from our mech suit. Uh, here, I connected in there. We're going to just run it all the way up. Do, 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 all the way into there. I don't know why we need oxygen in here, but I'm going to just put it in. Hopefully it's fine. Scan network quality. Sends automation signal when selected object is detected. Okay, whatever. It's fine. These guys are going to get this stuff out of the way. Then I should be able to open these doors. Okay, so the stuff's falling. That's what we want. I think it's working the way it's supposed to. So now this opens. And then I don't know. I think... All I have to do is open and close these doors a bunch of times. I don't know. Let's let's just get this set up like this for now and I'll just put a switch just to try it manually. If that works, then we're off to the races. Okay. We turn that. Turn that. Okay. It seems like it's working. That's actually really good. So now what I have to do is find some way to automate that once this turns off, this whole thing is going to cycle, I don't know, a bunch of times. <laughs> I don't know how to, I don't know how to do that. It's probably something to do with A memory toggle. And I don't know what else. I don't know. It's going to probably be something super duper messy. Hopefully I can figure something out though. Okay. So this thing actually has reduced visibility now. This building has an inadequate or obscured view of space. 73% Okay, so it's gonna get better here. Let me just Get rid of some more of this stuff. What a good idea. This is wow. Okay. Does that help? 91% we're getting close. I think if we get this last door We'll have it Hopefully, I don't know then I have to figure out how I'm actually gonna cycle this 
I was looking at what we have available. There's a timer here, so I could have it set to come on for a second and then turn off for a second. Uh, something like that, maybe, or we use buffers. Buffers might work. Mm. I don't know. I don't know how else to get this to work. Might be a little bit messy. How is this thing doing? 100%. So how do I know if someone's actually in here? Um, is, is this working? How do I know if it's working? Using a telescope. To analyze space destinations, complete analysis on an object. You know what? I probably don't have the research field research skill. Hang on. I think that's in the skill tab field research. Oh, there it is. It's pretty low down. Yeah, Bonnie has it. Oh, wow. She can almost do rocket navigation. Holy cow. Okay, we got Devon, Bonnie, Gossman. We've got tons of people who can run this thing. Oh, wow. This guy can actually do this? Oh, no. He's going to get all angry now. Oopsie. Anyway, maybe they won't do it without oxygen. Maybe this pipe has to get finished before they will go up there and start doing that. Oh, yeah, guys. My... <laughs> My little automatic machine here got all screwy. One of the automated wires melted and then everything started getting screwy. Now there's nothing left in this room as you can see. It's just liquid lead and this thing is still spewing out. Oh, it's actually dormant right now. So I could go in there and fix it. But I'm gonna just leave it for now. I hope nothing crazy happens. I just, I, I don't want to do that right now. I want, I got, got a, too many fish to fry right now. We got to get oxygen. Why is this taking forever? Let's, uh, speed things up a little bit. So we got the space scanner here. And it said, what did it say? It said something weird. Let me get to it. Here we go. It says this scanner is currently scanning 30% effectiveness. Decreased scan quality may be due to interference from industrial machinery, rock tile, rock or tile obstructing the dish's line of sight. So I'm not sure. It might be this that's obstructing it. It might be this that's interfering. I don't know if this is technically considered an industrial machinery. It also says this scanner is scanning at 5% effectiveness, which means it's going to detect incoming objects 11 seconds to 200 seconds before they arrive. So it's kind of not good. 200 seconds before it arrives? That is a long time. So I built this second one here. I'm just waiting for some power to connect. I'm not sure if that's going to make it better. I'm assuming it will. We might need more of them. If we need more, I'm going to have to expand because I don't really have any room here. So we're going to have to carry this system over farther. But for now, I'm hoping it's going to work. I haven't actually had a chance to see if the doors are automatically going to close when meteors come. I'm really hoping they do. But we'll see. We'll see how it works. It, it should be happening any moment now. At least we can hope. I'm just going to wait for this to finish. And I guess I'm going to try and figure out how I'm going to make these loop. I'm not exactly sure how that's going to work yet. But let's just see what we can do. Oh my god. Our telescope is being used. <gasps> Guys, check it out. Our telescope. Gossman is in there just researching up a storm. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, so I've been working on a little bit of automation. I don't know if this is going to work or not, but check it out, guys. Let me just kind of show you what I'm thinking. So I've got this buffer here. I'm going to use this to make sure that the doors are open, I think. So once we've received an on signal for 10 seconds, I don't know what the actual number is. I might have to play with that a little bit. Once we've received an on signal for 10 seconds, 
or however long it takes for the doors to open. It's going to send a signal here to this buffer, which I've got set to one point... Uh, just over one second. 1.1 seconds, which is going to send a signal to this clock, which should send a green signal up to the doors and open them. I hope. Then, the filter... Oh, I don't know if this is going to work. Then I've got this filter here. We'll set it to one point. I guess it has to be the same time or it's not going to work, right? Or maybe it should be just a little bit less. One second. And then I want it to push that up into here where the buffer is going to go and turn it back on. And then this, I'm hoping I can find a way to cycle this. Uh, I'm hoping... I'm not, I'm not sure exactly if this is going to work the way I intended. We also want to set a number of times that these doors are going to open and close. And I don't know what a good number is. So wait, what is this? Oh, 1%. We can maybe 10 is too much. Seven. Reset counter. I don't know. Maybe seven. We'll try. Now, once it hits a certain number, it should always send a green signal. And right now, what's happening? Oh, my buffer is getting always a green signal. I'm going to have to put an end gate in here somewhere, I think. Okay, the doors are closing. I think that means there's a meteor shower coming in. Oh, look at that. Here comes the meteors. I think our automation system just finished as well. So this is perfect timing to try this out. And see if it works. We just got to wait a few moments for the meteor shower to end. Hopefully nothing breaks. Okay. The door should be opening. Okay. Oh, no. I think we're going to need to use this memory storage. Ah, guys, we figured it out. So when I have an input coming in like this, if it's always green, that's fine. But then we want to make sure that we can turn it on and off. So we got to come out with our output, put it on a buffer, and then take the output of that, put it in another buffer, turn it around, put it in the reset, and then look at this. On, off. On, off. We can change these settings to be whatever speed we want to make our doors work properly. But that is what we have to replicate up at the top rather than that buffer filter buffer filter thing that we were working on. I wasn't sure exactly how to do it, but it seems like it's not so bad. So let's see here. We got to get rid of actually we got to get rid of a lot of this stuff. Let's just start over, shall we? Okay, so this part is still kind of working. I have to do it by hand here just until we get our automation system working. Hopefully we've done it now. That looks looking really good. Now we just got to make sure that this part does what it's supposed to as well. So let's crank that up. Hopefully this will get the job done. I'm thinking it will, but let's just let's just quickly speed things up. Make sure that it's going to work. Okay, for some reason, we're not outputting a red signal. Or a green signal. Oh, you know what I need to do? I gotta get an ore. Let's see here. Ore. We gotta tuck that in... Somewhere. All right, guys, so I've gone ahead and set up another memory loop here. 
So this one is the first one we talked about. We got a buffer, turns this memory loop on. This is just a cycle thing. Then this thing counts up. Once we get 10, it should send a green signal, which will turn this thing on. And it shouldn't reset until this thing has turned off. So other than that, it should just push a green signal up. This is just an OR gate up here. So it'll work for the cycle. And then as soon as this pushes green, it should save that state and keep it green until this gets reset. So I'm hoping that's going to work. I don't know for sure. We're going to see here as soon as this meteor shower is done. Oh boy, I hope it works. Okay. It's looking good. It started a little bit too soon. It might cycle through before it's done. I mean, I think it's working. It should go 10 times, which obviously is too many times. And then it should stay on. And it should just stay on forever. That looks like... That looks like it's gonna work. Now the only thing I'm noticing... Is I'm resetting this one, but I'm not resetting this guy. So I might have to... Wrap some kind of automation thing around to also reset this one. That's gonna be a problem otherwise. So we'll hook that up like that, hook that up like that, and then I'm gonna have to run a wire all the way around so that when this one resets, this one will also reset. I gotta disconnect that before I, before I wrap that in there. Okay, so then that should work. I didn't like how fast this opened. Maybe we can slow it down a touch here. I don't know how long it actually takes for those doors to open. Maybe it's something like 20 seconds instead. And then I think this is set too long. So maybe if we do two second intervals. That might even be still too long. Oh, it's not saving. What the heck's going on here? There we go. Now I'm assuming that will work. Okay, so I think everything there is working. I guess time will tell if our system is actually working or not. I wish there was a way I could stop this from ticking up. I mean, I could... I wonder what happens if I just connect these two wires together. I don't know if that's gonna break it. It might break it. Let's just try it. I don't know. That ticking noise is gonna drive me absolutely crazy. Okay, so next thing I'm noticing is we've discovered the carbon asteroid. Now we can discover, I guess, this one? I don't know. Oh, there's... We unlock three more as well. So cool. So that should just work all the time. I don't know if we can queue up things. Analyze object. No, we can't. So let's just do this one because it's nice and close and easy. And I guess we can keep researching more and more as we go. I really, really want this to please stop the ticking. Okay, it stopped. So now, is that gonna break it? Or is that fine? You know what, we could pretend. I could add a switch over here and we could just pretend. Like that, I can send my fake signal. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, so let's hit play just real quick Pretend there's an asteroid coming 
Oh my god, there's an asteroid coming! I don't know why this is cycling. Oh, this should be a filter and not a buffer. That's why. Oh, 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 see? The troubleshooting. Okay, so let's get this out of here straight away. We're gonna have to change that to be a filter, not a buffer. Okay, so that filter is on, everything's on. We can pretend now that the meteor shower is not coming anymore. So let's see what happens. That door should open. I have this set to be 30 seconds right now. I'm not sure if that's gonna be enough time. It looks like it could be a little bit longer. Let's try 40 in the future. But now, once this gets to 10, everything should stop. Please? Please stop? Okay, it seems to work. And then if we hit this because there's a meteor shower coming... Everything closes up. Good. That looks good. Let's speed this up a little bit. Okay, meteor shower overted. Everything's gonna open up. Come on, baby. I'm not even sure 40 seconds is enough. Uh, it's close. We might be able to go like 45. Uh, these doors are kind of just doing whatever they want. It seems like they're working though. Okay, I think that should work. Everything's working. Field research, open star map. This thing is under progress. Okay. Oh my god, what a day, guys. Oh no, my food's going down and there's a thing where I was pumping hot metal into my refrigerator room and I think a bunch of my food spoiled. I, I think I fixed it now. I'm not sure why it's still dropping so fast. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on that though because if our food is disappearing, that is very not good. I think it's fine now. I had all of my really, really hot stuff from my lava pit down here coming up right here, hitting this thing and getting pumped right into my refrigerator room. <laughs> and this stuff is hot. I mean, okay, well, this stuff's not that hot anymore. It's been sitting there for a while, but it's coming out of down here. And this stuff, it's 67 degrees down here. So we don't want to pump that. It's going in here and it was going up. Yeah, like, oh my God, I can't believe this. Anyway, so that's what happened to my food. I hope I fixed it now. It looks like it might be going up a little bit. Is there a way to tell? Uh, oh, I know. I thought there was a way to open. Here we go. Calorie generation. We were doing really good there for a while. Then it started going down. I, it's hard for me to tell if we're going to be okay or not. I think we're going to be okay. Now that I'm not spoiling my food anymore. Anyway, it is what it is. Hopefully nothing bad happens. If there's bad things, I guess we're gonna have to deal with them when they come. But we're into space now. We're starting to do some space exploration with our trusty little... Ooh, maybe it's time to get some, some calories going. I don't know. With our trusty little telescope, we are now spying into outer space just to see what's there. We're discovering some new planets, stuff like that. Not sure why no one's in here. Oh, we're already done. Okay, so let's analyze another one. So the first couple are going pretty fast. 
I don't know, it's probably gonna get slower and slower the farther we get away, but I'm assuming at some point we're gonna discover all of these planets or whatever these are. Carbon, carbon, analysis complete. I don't know what exactly we're supposed to do. I probably should be researching some more stuff. Where's my research? We need to start doing some space travel things and maybe even... Yeah, introductory rockets. But maybe even transit tubes and jetpacks. I'm thinking something like that is probably good to get us started. And then we're gonna have to build the interstellar research thing. Now, I don't know. Virtual planetarium? Yeah, this is it. Consumes data from telescopes. Uh, what? Consumes data from telescopes? Interesting. I don't... How do I know how much data I have? Is it just in here? Very interesting. Anyway, we have a lot of stuff to do. In the next episode, I think we're going to get this virtual planetarium going. Maybe start setting up some tubes because we're unlocking them right now as we speak. So maybe we'll start setting up some tubes. That would be cool. Getting some jetpacks built. And then perhaps starting into the introductory rocket fuel or rocketry. Where do we get that? There's a super coolant material. I don't know where we get that. Cryofuel? It might be here. Burns liquid hydrogen. Stores liquid oxygen. Okay, maybe that's not it. I don't know where it is. It's got to be down in here somewhere, I, I would think. But anyway, guys, we're going to wrap this episode up there. We... Well, really, we didn't get a lot done today, but it seems productive. Hey, 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 this poor guy, poor girl. I don't know. We might have to do a, we might have to do a swap or a wipe or whatever it's called. You guys are telling me about it. I forget what it's called. The skill scrubber. We might have to do a little bit of scrubbing on our dupes here pretty soon, guys. Things are getting a little bit messy, so I don't know. But hopefully our food situation is under control. Now our solar power... Not solar power. Our outer space little area here seems to be automated. I think it's working. We can probably just take it and extend it over as much as we want. I could start adding solar panels. I could start adding some more space scanners. I don't know. Stuff like that would probably be useful, I would think. I'm not sure. I, I think it would be useful. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you think. Other than that, guys, we're going to wrap it up right there. I hope you liked this episode. If you did, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up on this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new here. And I'll see you next time.